Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. I am your girl Kiva. And I'm Adriel. And if you're new to our channel, we are a young Christian couple. We love God, we love food, and we love family. And before we continue, you know what I'm gonna say? If you're new to this channel, I want you to pause this video right now and click that subscribe button. And for all of our viewers, new and old, please go ahead and smash, smash that, that like button. button. <laughs> Welcome back to Midweek Fuel. So Midweek Fuel, for those who don't know, it's just that extra push from the Word of God to get through the rest of the week. I know some of us go to church on Sunday or Saturday, and even if we don't go to church, the weekends are usually the time where we kind of rejuvenate and get ready for the new week ahead. Mm -hmm. But by midweek, we feel burnt out sometimes. So we want to go straight to the Word of God to get that fuel to make it through. Hallelujah. And today, the word for today is surrender. Yeah. Surrender. We're going to be focusing on Psalms 55, verse 22. And before we start, let us just say a quick prayer. Heavenly Father, God, we just thank you for this opportunity once again for us to study your word. We pray, Heavenly Father, that as we're about to dive into your word, that your Holy Spirit will speak to us and speak to the viewers, dear God, speak to our hearts. I pray, Heavenly Father, that you will just uh, keep us. In your precious name I pray. Amen. Amen. So Psalms 55 verse 22 and it reads, cast your burden on the Lord and he will sustain you. He will never permit the righteous to be moved. Mm. Ooh, that's a powerful verse right there, guys. Mm. Wow, hallelujah. Cast your burdens on the Lord. So what does cast mean? Mm -hmm. So we looked it up, you know, cast literally means to throw forcefully in a specified direction. So God is telling us here, to throw, literally throw it at him, throw our burdens, throw anything that's weighing us down at him, mm -hmm. you know? And I, I saw this thing from Kev on stage. He did mm. this, uh, I think it was based on the same text with the one in, in 2 Peter 5, We're talking about cast your cares upon the Lord because he cares for you. Um, a lot of times we have this saying that God will not give us more than we can bear, right? Yeah. The whole thing is, he doesn't give us the burden to bear because he wants us to throw, throw it. it at him. He doesn't give mm. us more than we can bear because when it gets heavy, we need to throw, throw it, it yeah. at him. And because God, listen, he said, listen, my burden is light mm -hmm. and my yoke it's is easy. easy. Yeah. That means, listen, whatever you got, give it to me because it's not meant for you to carry. The next part of the verse says, and he will sustain you. Now, according to the dictionary, the word sustain means strengthen or support physically or mentally. Mm. And I'll add in this case, spiritually. Yeah. A lot of times burden weighs down so much that it can cause sickness. Yeah. It can cause mental breakdowns and it can cause us to drift away spiritually. Mm. But he said, if you cast it cast on it. me, Okay, if you cast it on me, mm. I will sustain you. And he didn't say I might. Yeah, that's a promise right there, guys. That's a promise. He says I will. I will. He will mm. sustain you. So that means God is a God who can't lie. Mm. He said I will strengthen you. I will strengthen you mentally, physically, yeah. emotionally, spiritually. And as we're saying this to you guys, we're, we're speaking it to ourselves mm -hmm. too. You know, just because we're studying the word and we're reading it right now doesn't mean it's just for you. It's definitely for us as well. Yeah. It's a reminder. As I'm reading it, I'm just thinking about, you know, experiences that I'm going through right now that I need to apply this verse to. Yeah. God, so. like, God is so good. Like, mm. it's just it's just so amazing to, to remember that he keeps his he keeps his promises yes he's yeah. a god who cannot lie and if he says to cast our burdens on him it's an act of surrender the reason why we chose surrender is because surrender throwing your burdens or casting it is an act of surrender yeah. to say yeah. okay god you know what i can't i don't i don't got this anymore yeah. i need mm -hmm. to give this to you and i always use this analogy of a swimmer who is well not a swimmer a person who is drowning Right? And a lifeguard sees that person drowning. The lifeguard cannot save that person mm -hmm. unless that person stops struggling. Ooh. You know, like you're Ooh. drowning, like, oh, help, 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 help. Mm. And the lifeguard just like, all right, okay. Yeah, yeah. And until that person surrenders and go down, 
that's when that lifeguard goes in to save that ind mm. individual because if he goes in while they're struggling, mm -hmm. he's going to go down too. Yeah. Not saying that God can go down, but surrendering is when God says, okay, you stop fighting now, you stop trying to fight this battle, I'm going to step in. That's right. I'm going to step in and now sustain you, lift you up. Yes, yes. Oh, hallelujah. Oof, well, we should be pastors. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, it's just amazing <laughs> how much you can get from one verse. One verse. This is the word of God. It's so powerful mm -hmm. and it never returns unto him void. Yes. So we hope this verse brought you some encouragement yes. to get through the week. And please share it with someone who may be going through a rough time or someone who may just need encouragement yes. to get through the rest of the week. The word of God is not just for us to keep to ourselves. No. We must share it with the world. So guys, please be encouraged and please know that you are loved by God. He's a good father and he will sustain you. So remember the word of the day is? Surrender. Surrender. And before you leave, do not forget that you are what? Blessed, Blessed and highly, highly favored. favored.